<laughs> it's funny sometimes when you think my country people around the world look at us as ignorant, arrogant, stuck up shitty we're the scourge on the planet earth supposed to be the richest nation on the planet but people walk around without no free health care we got a president for change and the only change is the color of the president um, people say we got a black president oh you're half right it's like a transition We'll never have a full black president until we have one that's 100% black. So we got a 50-50. They met us halfway. But no. It's not about a black president. It's not about a white president. It's not about any of that. It's about the people. The people of this country have been manipulated. They've been blinded. Um, the word I could say tricked, fooled got had, played but what happened to us here in America um, it's more sinister than just somebody cheating you it's more diabolical than you know you know, somebody just running in your house and beating you up and tying you up and, and leaving you there it's what happened to the American people in America is put like this it's biblically insane I think that's right we we're based on a belief system based on a system based on something else based on something else and we the American people never ever really started our own anything I mean everything that the American people have is taken from one sector of America, placed in another sector of America, and blah, 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 blah. It's like moving a bunch of dominoes around on the table with all the spots showing, and then trying to play a game with a blind man. Um, we, the people, are the blind man, and they are putting the dominoes face up, and they're playing dominoes with us. And, you know, to be part of a game pitiful um, to be a piece on a checkerboard I mean it's, it's insane and that's what we are here in America um, this is the greatest country on the planet earth because they say it's the greatest country on the planet earth people from all over the world want to be here people here just want this place to be fair I once said people break their neck to get into America and as soon as they get here they try to find their way out. I don't know. I can sit here and bitch about a whole bunch of different things. I can say a whole bunch of different things. But what do I mean? What's inside me? I feel that you know being who I am, growing up the way I did, seeing what I saw, experiencing my experiences, I can only speak from my perspective. But as an American, a real American, a true American, I don't give a damn who I march with in the end, as long as we're having a victory march. I don't care who runs the country, as long as they're not running it into the ground. I do the best I can because that's all I can do. But what we're missing here in America is, is the Jordan type people. I'm not saying Jordan like Michael Jordan because he's black. But what Michael Jordan did on the basketball court, he made the people around him better. You know, you take him off the team, they made it to the playoffs, then they win the championship. You see, we need people in our country to make the people around them better. And in most circumstances, 
the people in our country feed off other people in our country. See what I'm saying? In other words, instead of me helping this guy, knowing that once he's in position, he can help me, I'd feed on him until he can figure it out and feed on somebody else and so on and so forth. We feed on each other here in America for one thing or the other. Some people feed on other people just for companionship and company. You know, and some people feed on other people for housing. Some people feed on other people for food. And I mean, it goes on and on and on and on. But we here in America know how bad America is because we live in it. We try to warn people they don't want to hear it. Um, we in America, that's one thing I learned is if a group of people come from another country, there's incentive for them to be here. This is one of the first things that we see as Americans. We'll see a group of people come in and get benefits. That will make another group of people mad so on and so forth and you America creates animosity amongst the races it's created there's a uh, some people who live in America who can't prove they're American I had that happen to me once uh, I was working then I was out of work and a lot of people call it getting on the dole here in America we call it unemployment I went down to the unemployment office and I could not prove that I was an American spoke clean English the Queen's English matter of fact and the guy that was uh, helping me at the time he had a British accent he told me sorry mate you just can't prove it right now at this point well, got the social security card I got an ID and I could not prove I was an American maybe this guy didn't know what he was doing maybe it was his first day here I don't know but it's kind of hard to go through life in this country and see what we see. We see things constantly that pisses us off. And then the first thing it does to our minds is, what about me? What about my family? What about my kids? That what about me has been taught to every American. That selfishness has been taught to every American. You work as hard as you can to be number one. You don't work to be number two. You don't work to be in the top five. You work to be number one. That's all that we've ever been taught on a consistent basis here in America. Number two sucks. Number three sucks more. And number four got to suck one, two, and three. You want to be number one in America. The best football player, the best baseball player, the best basketball player, the best NASCAR driver, the best Indy car driver, the best airplane pilot, the best army soldier, the best. You have to be the best. In order for you to be the best, you have to take out some competition. Here in America, everybody's number one. That's why nobody gives a damn about number two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine million. Billion. Nobody cares about nobody but number one. That's a problem. Because of a lot of us out here who care about other than number one. A lot of us in America care about those who have nobody who gives a damn about them. A lot of us in America care about the homeless man, the homeless woman, the homeless kid, the poor people, the immigrants. A lot of us in America do give a damn, but we can't be heard because our voice is not loud enough because we can't over talk, number one. See, you must first understand that what I'm saying is the truth. We've been taught to be selfish, and for that, we lose. And for that, we've been too.